What's good, Relentless Gang? You know who it is, man. It's your boy, Mr. Relentless Lex, and I'm back like I never left this mother. Yes, sir. All right, so, bro, we got another one here, bro. It say Diddy. Back. Diddy's, man, he should be trending right now. With everything his name is in right now, Diddy, he should be trending right now, bro. I want to say thank you guys for all the for all the love on the channel, bro. Um, I'm a reactor. I was doing music. I jumped into this lane. I feel like this is my niche right now. Um, you guys been showing me a lot of support. I cannot thank y'all enough, bro. I cannot thank y'all enough. Um, y'all making my channel do wonderful numbers. Bro, humbly said, thank you. That's all I can say, really. I thank you so much. God first, bro. I always put God first, but I do thank you guys. Um, but this is Diddy Loses as as Wendy Williams leaks Diddy's new gay pictures, bro. This is going to be spicy. <laughs> Let's get it, man. I can't wait for this one. I think Diddy, he hates Wendy. A lot of people hate Wendy, bro. Wendy rubbed a lot of people the wrong way in her life. But we're going to see what this topic is about. Let's get it. Hello. Let me turn up a little bit. Tell you that she was let go from Hot 97 over that. When he grabbed his trunk. Over what? And all of that frick of fracas, if you look back, history will tell you that she was let go from Hot 97 over that. When he grabbed his trunk to pull it down, some girls that was taking pictures. They took the, that picture and emailed it back to Wendy Williams. Oh my God, bro. Cameron said, yo, Puff, yo, you gotta let me film this, the whole thing. We need to document this, Playboy. He was like... So Jamie Foxx suffered a very serious medical emergency that landed him in the hospital. So now there's a juicy link between Wendy Williams and the one and only Diddy, and the internet is on fire with it. Wendy Williams recently called Diddy out on his habit of stretching the truth like a pretzel, and it's no secret that he has a history of doing just that. Not only that, but this bombshell information is connected to Jamie Foxx's recent hospitalization. Do you really think that? It's just like a soap opera, except in real life. You wouldn't be wrong to worry that Diddy could get in trouble for this. The implications of Wendy's remarks are spreading like wildfire around California. In other words, settle down with some popcorn because this scandal has just begun. Y'all get been y'all said popcorn. That a sultry photo of not one, but two shirtless males is circulating online. Two could one of these hunky guys maybe be the infamous Diddy? People all around the web are scrambling to make sense of it. However, that's not all. If you've been reading, bro, what that that word when she says scrambling, that reminds me of when Diddy was on uh, Drink Champs uh, a couple of years back, and he told Fabulous, he said, "Fabulous, why you want party with me?" Fabulous, like, yo, we already party together. <laughs> and Diddy said, "No, I want you to really, really party with me." Fabulous said, "I was looking like, well, what you talking about?" <laughs> And then he told Noriega in that same interview, he told Noriega, he said, I like it when you like that, daddy. Pause. I like it when you like that, daddy. Scrambling and scraping for shit. <laughs> this fool is funnier than a $3 bill. Wendy's hot thoughts. You know that she just revealed some juicy details about Diddy's rumored homosexual relationships. And that supposedly led to her getting angry and losing her job. Wendy, however, has more tea to spill, so hold on to your hats. Jamie Foxx's recent hats. health problems, in her opinion, could be related to him revealing details about Diddy's raucous sex parties. Right about now, you're probably wondering, is this just another baseless rumor? Don't worry, though. Wendy never shows up without proof of what she claims. This time, though, she has Gene Deal, previously Diddy's bodyguard, dishing the dirt. Uh-oh, Gene Deal? A Wendy lot of people Williams. don't know this, but if you have the YouTube app on your phone, you could be using it to... There's more. Jaguar Wright is another musician that has been leaking juicy details about A-listers like Diddy and Alicia Keys. But Wright has been strongly denouncing this kind of behavior, even when others are silent. And it seems that Deal is on her side as well. It's no secret that Diddy encouraged Wendy to expose his gay activities, which may explain why she began abusing substances. It's tragic. Bro, I got to give a shout out to this uh, Spill Today channel, bro. Because they be having some spicy stuff, bro. Shout, shout out to Spill Today channel, bro. Y'all go subscribe. Go over there and check her stuff out. Bro, this this, this is some great information, bro. That it appears Fox is going through the same thing. 
In 2021, the well-known host publicly discussed her battles with alcoholism. Well, for some time now and even today and beyond, I have been living in a sober house, Williams emotionally revealed to her audience. And you know I've had a struggle with cocaine in my past. I never went to a place to get the treatment. I don't know how, except God was sitting on my shoulder, and I just stopped. Williams was trying to get better, according to a source close to her, but no one was ready to discuss the motivation behind her drug use. Wendy has been brave enough to make herself the face of addiction, the source says. It's a disease and a very real and constant fight. It it's is. been extremely difficult to put herself out there and be vulnerable as this is such a private struggle. I didn't even know that, bro. I didn't know Wendy was a, a, a habitual um, cocaine user and alcoholism, bro. I, I didn't even know that about Wendy. I thought she was just goofy, really. The whole time she been high on set. I think I don't think that's funny, but the whole time she was high on set though. That's why she fell down like that that one time, bro. She probably was high then, you know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, bro. Like, thank God she's sober now. I guess that's the thing, right? That's what we should clap. Clap it up for Wendy, bro. We clap it up for Wendy being sober, bro, and and, and not doing them drugs and alcohol like that. But it's too important a topic to ignore. She is known for keeping it real and felt the need to keep it real for her fans. Wendy Williams knew the Daily Mail story was breaking and wanted to be honest with the viewers. She wanted it to be her story to tell. Let's back up and begin at square one. Wendy Williams, who was a radio host for Hot 97 back in 1998, has made some shocking charges about Diddy's sexuality. But when Bad Boy's creator heard what Wendy was saying, he allegedly used his influence to get her fired from the radio station. Wendy and Diddy's hatred lasted for 20 years after this. I know what you're thinking. But what does any of this have to do with Jamie Foxx's recent health struggles? Wendy claims that the scandal stems from revelations made at one of Diddy's wild sex parties. An evil music mogul once supposedly dispatched a girl band to school, our dear Wendy. According to her story, a crew named Total arrived to beat her up in front of the radio station. Total was reportedly attached to the mogul's label, Bad Boy Records. Sure enough, Diddy was the mastermind behind the whole thing. I finish my shift, round up my headphones to see everyone lined up on the side of the window, looking down at the sidewalk, she recalled. When she got downstairs, she saw this girl group jumped out of a gypsy cab to kick her ass. In her book, The Wendy Williams Experience, Wendy revealed that- Okay, so basically, you see how this information kind of sounds like the same Usher and Chris Brown situation? So I said this in one of my latest videos. Diddy sent the group that he had called Total. I remember Total. Can't you see what you do? Okay, he's, they said that he sent that group over there to beat Wendy Williams up. To rough her up, right? It's the same thing. It's like he sent, well, he didn't send Chris Brown for Usher. But it was like the perfect time to rough, to rough um, Usher up. He told Chris Brown. Bro, Usher is talking too much. Rough him up when you get to your party he's having for you. Because I'm pretty sure that wasn't a, a, a surprise party. So Diddy know Usher was having a... Because they all together. So Diddy knew Usher was having that party for Chris. So he had Chris and his security to rough Usher up, bro. The same way he did back in the days with Wendy Williams. It's the same thing. You guys might not believe that, but I'm telling you, you got to look at the pattern, bro. Look at the pattern. That she had harbored hatred towards Diddy for nearly two decades because she believed he had attempted to harm her career. She was forthright in her assessment that he was responsible for her suffering on Earth, but she said she still didn't hate him. Wendy had long hoped, but never expected, that Diddy would appear on her show in 2017 and officially end their rivalry. I know I've pissed a lot of people off, including you, she told Diddy as their interview started. But this is a full circle moment. Diddy went on Wendy's show and talked about his feelings for his then girlfriend, Cassie, in an effort to patch things up and put the feud to rest. I'm totally in love with her, he said. The legendary talk show presenter has had her fair share of health and personal issues over the years, despite her reputation for having a sharp tongue and daring judgment. She had a 10-year struggle with cocaine addiction at the beginning of her career, and she's also been dealing with Graves' illness, hyperthyroidism, and other health issues recently. 
However, Diddy's involvement in her situation, as he has done with Jamie Foxx, may be news to many of her millions of admirers. Who doesn't know about Wendy Williams's infamous marital problems? From cheating claims against her ex-husband to her own health problems, the talk show queen has seen her share of adversity. Wendy and Kevin Hunter were married for 21 years before she filed for divorce in 2019. I've got a problem that I'm pretty sure you can help me with. Yes, you will be paid for helping me. Actually paid after learning that Kevin was the father of a child by another woman. In January of the following year, their divorce was formalized. Well, when do Wendy, Wendy is a formidable shit. opponent, but not even she is immune to the virus. After having some unpleasant symptoms in 2018, she was forced to cancel three episodes of her show for the first time. She quickly got up on her feet and assured her followers that she was okay. It didn't end there though. As Wendy battled Graves' disease and hyperthyroidism, she took three weeks off later that year, leaving her admirers worried. Wendy's doctor suggested she take some time off to rebalance her medicine, and when she returned, she was better than ever. Even more juicy details emerge from an interview Wendy gave in July 2018 to promote her Be Here national campaign with the Hunter Foundation and discuss her decade-long struggle with cocaine addiction. I was a functioning addict, she proclaimed to Entertainment Tonight. The ratings I was getting meant that they couldn't terminate me. My ability to halt was miraculous. After losing her radio job due to Diddy's influence, the talk show host reportedly began using it. There was a lot of drama surrounding Wendy's departure from the legendary New York radio station Hot 97 in 1998. The host of the controversial talk show had alienated several of Damn, her colleagues Wendy in been the very a music lot. industry she had set out to examine. Wendy was even referenced by name in a song when Tupac Shakur asked, why you turn on me? It's not only Wendy and Fox who have called Diddy uncool either. The statements Wendy and Fox made about Diddy are true, as they have been validated several times by Gene Deal, a former close colleague of the tycoon. According to Deal, he was in a Philadelphia nightclub when he saw Bad Boy CEO Diddy tell R&B singer Music Soulchild to take off his turban. But wait, there's more. Later, after Jaguar Wright accused Deal of being paid to keep quiet, Deal praised her for speaking out and dismissed her claims. Back on the subject of the pressing matter at hand, he continued. Meanwhile, Wright has seriously accused her former supervisor of manipulative and unfair practices. It is time to investigate these claims thoroughly. I remember them two ladies right there. That's another group that did had. I forgot their name, but they, was, they had a dope song, though. They had a real good song. They only had like two or three hits. They they came and went. They came and went and left like the wind, bro. I don't know. I, I forgot their names, but these two beautiful young ladies right here, Diddy had them on the, on Bad Boy label, and like I said, they had maybe one or two great songs. Then they just disappeared, bro. I don't know what he at. Of manipulative and unfair practices, it is time to investigate these claims thoroughly. In his words, "Baby girl, listen to me. Ain't nobody paid Big Gene off. Ain't nobody ran Big Gene off. It's not happening." Never ran and never will, never have, from nobody or no man. Sweetheart, you're wrong about that. So I've heard you say that twice. Somebody sent that to me twice, so I'm just letting you know, baby girl. I don't know you personally, do you understand? But I respect what you do, but you are wrong when you tell. Unless it's another bodyguard. It ain't Big Gene. You might be speaking about somebody else. You are not speaking about Big Gene. Deal's defenses against Wright and Wendy's claims fell flat and gave more fuel to their fire. He said he became religious as a result of his time while working with Diddy. The ex-bodyguard also brought up Mary J. Blige since Jaguar had implied she was involved. Jaguar had previously accused Blige of hiding her sexuality from women for years and challenged her to a musical competition, all before the Diddy incident. Jaguar persisted in her charges despite pushback, going so far as to issue a dance challenge to the queen of hip-hop soul on Instagram. Jean's new interview serves to bolster the claims made by Wendy Williams and Jamie Foxx, who have also spoken out against Diddy. During a business trip in early 2000, Jean alleges he accompanied Diddy to an exotic bookstore, where Diddy allegedly purchased a bag of sex toys for his children, including numerous butt plugs. For his children? Jean further claims that Diddy intended to- Hold on, for his- say, whoa, now. For his children? Ain't no way, bro. Company Diddy to an exotic bookstore where Diddy allegedly purchased a bag of sex toys for his children, including- Bro, a bag of sex toys for his children? Ain't no way, bro. She, 
Bro, ain't no way. Ain't no way. Numerous butt plugs. Gene further claims that Diddy intended to bring the toys to Jaw Rule's residence after the North Carolina event, despite Gene's best efforts to dissuade him. Many people have taken to social media to voice their amazement and horror at these disturbing allegations. Gene isn't the only one with interesting anecdotes to tell. Wendy has voiced her displeasure with the pervasive homophobia in the hip-hop community. She was being serious when she said, I'm not down with any of that, so I didn't push the issue. Clearly, he's not my type. There was also a substantial gay population in the 1980s, in case that wasn't obvious. Which is more distressing? Refusing to acknowledge reality, as when males in the hip-hop community are told they can't wear skirts or that they need to have many children to feel like men. This is the culmination of several earlier occurrences in my career. In light of the recent speculation around Diddy's sexual orientation, many are wondering if the rapper has any interest in male partners. Despite his love connections to women like the late Kim Porter, suspicion about his sexuality has persisted. One of the many offspring of these unions is Christian Combs, who is currently following in his famous father's footsteps in the music business. Diddy has denied being gay on numerous occasions, yet his actions throughout the years have given rise to speculation to the contrary. In a recent music video, Diddy raps the lines, Sometimes I ask myself, like, you know, what is it going to take for me not to be afraid to be loved the way, like, I really want to be loved? But that I know how I really want to be loved? But I'm, but I'm like, scared to really, really feel that. You know, it's like you want something, but you don't know if you can handle it, slash. Oh, yeah. Maybe are, one day I'll get over my fears. We already know what I'll he meant by it. that. Yeah, we know what he mean After by that. After hearing this, yeah. do you really believe Diddy is straight? Nope. Let us know in the comments section below. And nope. that's it from us today. Until next time, thank you for watching. Hey, yo, bro, shout out to Spill today for this information, for real, for real. But Diddy is not, Diddy is, Diddy is far from straight, bro. I don't care who want to believe what, Diddy is far from straight. That that last line right there, bro. He said, "Do I, I want to be loved the way I want to be loved?" And um, I'm afraid, bro. Come on out the closet, boy. Damn, stop. If you're gonna be that, bro, you might as well come out. Everybody else coming out. Shit. Damn, boy. You been that way, boy. Boy, this industry right here make me say, you know what? I'm just gonna stick to my country music, my rock and roll music. I'm disappointed at this culture a little bit, bro. Good music is good music, man, but not the people, bro. Like, y'all tell me, boy, when God come back this time, bro, it's going to be hell on earth, for real, for real. He burning all this motherfucker down.